There are many people that displaced in the Bahamas because the Hurricane Dorian, which was a category five, was a monster, monster storm. Well, people was trying to come over on a ship and they was told they had to disembark because they didn't have a U.S. visa. Well, let's go ahead and roll this clip. Evacuees fleeing the hurricane-ravaged Bahamas were ordered off a ferry to Florida over the weekend if they did not have a U.S. visa, even though others without visas had already traveled to the United States. In video provided by WSVN, an announcement over the loudspeaker told those without U.S. visas to disembark. You have trouble, so please, all passengers that don't have U.S. visa, please proceed to disembark. The evacuees left their destroyed homes in Freeport and waited in line for hours to board the Bellaria, a ferry headed for Fort Lauderdale on Sunday night. They were told they only needed a passport and proof of no criminal record, but once aboard, something changed. Renard Oliver, who was on the Bellaria trying to flee the Bahamas with his family, said the last-minute notice was disappointing. It's hurt me because I'm um, watching my daughters cry. They were saying that they just got a call from CBP, and CBP told them that everyone that doesn't have a U.S. visa and who's traveling on police record has to come off. But U.S. Customs and Border Protection, or CBP, blamed the incident on the ferry operator, and acting port director Stephen Silvestri said those evacuees would have been allowed into the country. If those folks did stay on the boat and arrived, we would have processed them, uh, vetted them, and worked within our laws and protocols, uh, and done what we, you know, what we had to do to uh, facilitate them. I think it was, uh, you know, a decision, a business decision, by Valeria to remove them. They were not ordered off the boat by by any government entity. On Monday, acting commissioner of U.S. Customs and Border Protection Mark Morgan told reporters that those fleeing the hurricane zone were welcome in the U.S., but that there was confusion. We're still going to do our job. We still need to process you. We still need to vet them to make sure that we're not letting dangerous people in. It's not clear whether the Trump administration, which has sought to severely restrict legal and illegal immigration, will smooth the path for Bahamian evacuees. On Monday, the president said his administration is talking about possibly extending temporary protected status for immigrants from the Bahamas, but said there were people there that shouldn't come to the U.S. So we're also recovering from a hurricane, but we have to be very careful. Everybody needs totally proper documentation because, the look, the, the uh, Bahamas had some tremendous problems with people going to the Bahamas that weren't supposed to be there. I don't want to allow people that weren't supposed to be in the Bahamas to come in to the United States, including some very bad people and some very bad gang members and some very, very bad drug dealers. The Bahamas was hit hardest by Dorian with 200 mile per hour winds last week, causing immense destruction and killing at least 45 people. Several Bahamians interviewed by Reuters on Great Abaco in Nassau and in Florida, where hundreds of evacuees have fled said they might attempt to emigrate to the United States rather than face an uncertain reconstruction at home. Now, on top of the footage you just saw, the Trump administration says they're not giving temporary protective status to Bahamian people that are coming over. Now, temporary protective status would allow them to work, get a job, and live in the United States. But I knew Trump was going to pull something like that because I was looking at all these brothers and sisters trying to come over here. I know he was like, Oh hell no. I don't want all those black people here. You know that Donald Trump is the white supremacist in chief. We know that he is extremely cruel to people. He don't know how to manage anything because you look at it, every other day is a revolving door in the white house. And anyone that knows anything about management, when you have high turnover, it is a management issue, not an employee issue. But the thing is with Donald Trump and his following, the day may come that you may need another country, that you may need to go somewhere. And people gonna remember you and remember your support for this extremely cruel and white supremacist president. They're going to remember that and they're going to say, oh no, uh-uh, we don't want you here. Go back to your country. No, it's whatever country you want to go to. They're going to say, we don't need you here. 
and then you want to cry at that day. And you don't think that you won't be in a position that you need someone else. Let me tell you something. The world is small. The world is very small. We all live on this earth and you may need other people someday. Understand that. And I'm going to talk to some of my brothers and sisters that are repeating the rhetoric and the cruelty of Donald Trump as well. Be careful because you go get caught up too. The judgment that's set up for those who have committed the atrocities of slavery, Jim Crow, redlining, medical experiments, murdering our freedom fighters, all that that's laid up, you don't want no parts of that. So stop being cruel like him and think what he's saying is good because I don't care what you say. I cannot watch no human beings go back to a place like that with little babies, little children. I have kids the age of the brother that was holding his little girl. You want to send that little girl back to that place where there's no lights, no water, probably bugs and mosquitoes everywhere, no meals or anything. How could you even do something like that? How? There's no human decency. And the world has watched and seen America expose itself for really who it really is. Because you think the world don't see all these people that support Donald Trump? You think all the world don't see his Klan rallies? You think the world don't see that? The world see that every day. And that's why I tell people throughout the world, the black community has nothing to do with Donald Trump. We didn't vote in mass at all for him. We didn't. That is a lot of folks in white America that voted for him that yes, they did by the numbers. You had 30 some more percent of Hispanics voted for him. 30 some more percent of Asians voted for him, but black folks voted, I think what? 8% for, for Trump. That's hardly nothing. It's crazy that the groups that he, especially the Hispanic community that he's attacking, they voted 30 some more percent. Doesn't make sense, but Hey, they get what they getting out of Trump. They voted for that man like that. My thing is that is extremely cruel. I couldn't do that to anybody. I couldn't, but I'm a human being. I have decency who we have in the white house. He don't have no kind of decency at all. We see this, but as I said before, Donald Trump is America in the flesh. He is America. I said that. And the reason why a lot of them want him out talking about in his own community is because they don't like he's making them look bad. A lot of them really don't have too much of a problem with what he's doing sometime, but he's just doing too much is making them look bad before the world. But when some of these people come tell you, Oh, Trump, this and Trump, that just go back and look at the numbers who voted for who on election night. And I'm like, don't, you know, they try to come and talk about the black community need to vote the black community. The black community ain't got to do nothing. Why don't you go tell the Asian community what they need to do based on their numbers? Why don't you go tell the Hispanic community how they voted the last time? Black people didn't vote for that man like that in mass. So black people don't come to black people about the problem with Donald Trump. My thing is, and I'll say this again, cruel as Donald Trump is black folks want their reparations. And if you're not prepared to do that, then black folks are just not going to participate. That's all. If you want Trump out, then you have to give something. It's called give and take. You can't just take, 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 take. And I know in the past 60 years, black folks have allowed you to take. I get it. Cause I had a guy tell me, well, are you guys just going to check out the process? You're going to quit. I'm like, well, you know, I mean, that's an option. It is a option because we're not getting anything. So you want him out, give us something. And we are glad they go vote for, uh, vote him out. We're glad they go do it. But if you think you're going to just tell us, or oh, we're going to give you a study and that's it, a study, please. We read the HR 40 bill. It gives us nothing at the end of the day, but hi there. But you know, this man is just like I said, it's his display. What he choose to do. He don't want legal immigration or illegal. And we know that the immigration that he don't want, is people that's outside of white because what he said, he wanted more people from Norway. That's what he said. He want, I guarantee if something bad happened in Canada, he'll welcome all them in. Well, not the black ones, but he'll welcome in all the white people in from Canada. 
He'll be there with, with open arms, with, with a parade and everything for him to come in. There's something happened up there. I mean, that man is a straight white supremacist. I mean, he exposed himself already. Then you, he was saying some of them could be gang members and drug dealers. Now, you know, that's cold speak for white supremacist used for black folks. You know that all of a sudden everybody's a gang member and a drug dealer, man, these people in this country, the biggest drug dealers that world's ever seen, the biggest gang members the world's ever seen, please. Y'all invented the drug game. Y'all invented gangs. <laughs> black folks didn't know nothing about no drug game and gangs until y'all came along. Then you want to get mad at black folks because we've been around y'all too long, picking up on your dirty, nasty habits with drugs and gangs. The last, these are the last people I want to hear talk about some drugs and gangs, please. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know the thing about the situation in the Bahamas. It is it's so heartbreaking. And a lot of people are volunteering their time. A lot of people are giving, and that's the right thing to do, even though we have this cruel and racist president. But at the end of the day, when it comes to Donald Trump, this is who they voted for. This is the real America on display, folks, before the world. Just want you to remember that.